Welcome to this tutorial concerning the Thyristor single phase bridge. As you see, LVDAC is already open. Left click on this button to open the Thyristor control application. Then, under function selection, select Thyristor single phase bridge from the list by clicking on it. Then go under function settings here to take a look at the customizable features of this function. Firing angle control. You can choose knob, analog input 1, or complement analog input 1. Firing angle, from 0 to 180 degrees. Acceleration and deceleration time for smoother command variation. Q1, Q4, Q2, and Q5, the thyristors used in this function. You can choose for each one, active, which means the thyristor will be controlled by the application, or always on or off for troubleshooting. Status indicates if the function is started or not. The knob here appears only when the knob is selected here and can be used to vary the firing angle. You can also change the firing angle directly here by tapping the number you want. Finally, here's the start-stop button to control the function. As for every other function, here's an electrical diagram of the current function with the show connection button to help you connect your hardware equipment. This single phase bridge is in fact a full wave rectifier using thyristors instead of diodes. As you're about to see, this small difference has important effects. Be sure to connect the meter E4 as shown on the diagram. Connect your hardware equipment, then start the application. The yellow curve here is the input voltage at AB. The blue curve is the output voltage at CD and the purple and red curves are the signals sent to Q1 and Q2, respectively. As expected, at a firing angle of zero degrees, the output voltage is a DC voltage obtained with the bridge. However, having thyristors instead of diodes in the bridge gives the user the ability to vary the output voltage amplitude as desired. As you see, if I increase the firing angle, the red and purple curves slowly create a gap between the rising point and the zero voltage point of the input AC voltage. This implies that those thyristors will conduct for a shorter period of time the more I increase the firing angle. This way, I obtain a variable DC voltage from an AC power supply. The more the firing angle is high, the less voltage I get at the output. And that's it for the thyristor single phase bridge.